Hey guys, this is Jay Coleman, aka D Rabbit, uh, bringing you another tutorial um, on Video Wave. This is basically the software that comes um, standard with the Roxio um, game capture card. Now, the main purpose that I'm doing this is I have a uh, friend who um, messaged me the other day and he's having trouble with his main volume. And that seems to be a problem that a lot of people have with the Roxio. So I'm basically here to um, let you know how to fix that and uh, what you can do to uh, correct that. Um, another thing that I want to show you is how to render using this. Now if you guys have been following me, if you haven't that's fine, uh, but if you've been following me you know that I've done two, uh, excuse me, three giveaways and two of those giveaways for, were for Roxio. Okay, so I've given two Roxios away. So I figure I'd go ahead and give a little tip um, to the winners. Uh, let them know how they can use or get started using their software. Okay? So since uh, volume is a big problem, um, now keep in mind, guys, I don't use this anymore. I use the HD PVR. Um, but the clip that I got down here has actually been captured with the PVR because I don't have any clips from the Roxio. And it works just the same. You can um, use color correction, you can render, and get nice quality with it with um, HD PVR captured footage. So that, that's one thing I was surprised to find out that um, you can do pretty good with this. Now, if you want to. Um, get technical. Studio 15, Studio 14 that comes with the Dazzle has nothing on the software. Okay, I think this is a very underrated software, and I think if people knew what it could do, I think it would be talked about and used a lot more than um, a lot more than what you'd realize. Or um, I just know it'd be used a lot more, but people don't realize its capability, and um, you know it doesn't have a big name like Vegas. So. Um, the thing I like about it is very simple. It's very easy to use. It has a nice, um, a lot of nice effects, um, a lot of nice text effects, uh, overlays, uh, color correction, and and you can also render in HD, which is is very nice to be able to do that. Okay. So basically, let's go ahead and start with the um, let's go ahead and start with the um, sound first. Okay. Now. It's pretty loud. Uh, we're going to go ahead. If you don't see this little speaker up here, then you're going to have to get it to pop up. And the way you're going to do that, because sometimes this disappears. I don't know where it goes, but it does. And when it does, just right click on on your timeline, on your video. This little bar is going to pop up. Okay. We don't want to mess with that. We're going to go over here to um, select object start right there. Okay. Then we're going to click on the little speaker. You're going to get mute, fade in, fade out. You don't want to mess with none of that. Now me doing commentaries, I like to lower the volume down pretty low to where you can just barely hear it in the background uh, behind my voice. Okay, and that's usually, you're going to click on it and you're going to drag it down to about negative 18, negative 21, just depends. Okay, so you have to play with it a little bit, depending on your mic level, how loud you talk. Um, and all that stuff, you'll have to play around with the volume. And that's it. That's how you lower the main volume on a Roxio. Okay? It's real simple. Okay? Now, after that, um, I'm going to show you how to do some color correction and how to render in 720p HD. Now, you can also render in 1080p, uh, but I'll explain to you in a minute why I don't like that. Uh, but real quick, let me go ahead and give a shout-out. Um, not only to RGX, I want to give a shout-out to um, Einstein Mods for... Uh, making my last giveaway happen. I also want to give a shout out to um, Evil Laysman. He's the one who taught me how to do this uh, color correction thing a, a while back. Uh, we've been boys it seems like since day one. Um, so he's always been there for me. He's helped me out a lot. So I want to give a shout out to him. I'll leave his link in the description. Um, as well as uh, Black Ops ASCII. Now me and him has gone back since we um, both were on SWAT together. And uh, once SWAT shut down, I opened RGX, and we've been going pretty strong ever since. Um, not only that, um, you know, he's a really good guy. Check him out. I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description. Uh, he's a real good guy. And um, go ahead and give him a subscribe. Give him a like on his videos. Um, he's a real, real nice guy, okay? So check those people out. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, but let's get to it. Now, again, if you don't have the brightness the contrast, the saturation bar at the top, you want to go ahead and right click on your video, you're going to get the menu again. Don't mess with that, just go up here and click on brightness. I don't know why you have to do that. Sometimes it disappears, sometimes it don't. 
if it does you'll have to right click on it um, go up here to brightness where it says 50.00 and you're gonna get a little bar with a plus and, and minus and you're gonna hit your plus up to about 51 52 depending on how much brightness you want we'll go with 51 click on contrast which default is 50 again you're gonna push the plus up to about uh, you just play with it I think I like 55 you can get a really nice little oily look uh, which I thought looked really cool uh, evil did that in one of his videos before he got a real real nice deep oily look which looked really 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 nice it was really nice uh, but 55 is nice um, saturation go ahead and go to the plus now saturation is something you can bump pretty high okay you can take that up to 60 and hopefully you can see the corrections being made on the screen um, I really hope you can because it looks really really nice to me right now I'm gonna bump it up to 61 62 I think 62 looks a little too bright so let's bump it down to 61 now when I was told I was told 58 but I really like the way it looks at 60 or 59 okay 59 looks nice okay now once you've done that now there are some other red green and blue color corrections you can make but we're not going to mess with that uh, what you want to do is come on up here to the, your it looks like a little movie wheel export as and you're going to left click on that you can save the changes here if you want um, I'm not of course okay you'll get a little bar a box that pops up now since I'm using PVR you're not going to see this when you capture with the Roxio you're not going to see the same as original option okay because mine's true HD it's giving me the same as original I don't want to do same as original okay even with a PVR I don't want to do that now I try not to use this anyway but um you know if I ever have to I don't like same as original and I'll tell you what to go ahead and pick uh, make sure you're not on PAL not unless you're overseas if you're in in the states NTSC would be just fine you're gonna go there's a lot of different settings okay but what we want see if I can find it um, the DIVX HD 720p 60 frames per second there's DIVX HD 720p at 30 frames per second and the DIVX HD 1080p 30 frames per second now everybody thinks just because it's 1080 they want that um, I really like to render uh, at 60 frames per second okay that that's what I recommend I do everything at 720p 60 frames per second it takes a little longer to render but it looks way way better okay so come down to our file name we're going to X that out and we'll just put tutorial okay you can change the file here mine goes to video so I don't my video folder so I'm not going to mess with that it's real simple then you just click on create video file it's that easy guys now I don't need this to render all the way through but hopefully you can see the quality there in the screen and it looks really nice once it's uploaded to YouTube now once you uh, capture with your Roxio um, it may not look the same because keep in mind I'm using a PVR uh, well that that footage there came from a PVR um, but you'll be using the Roxio so you can play around with it um, also to add your voice let's go ahead and do that real quick while I'm thinking about it you're just going to go up, add narration where the microphone is and I have mine hooked up already okay and it's real simple if you want a little louder on the mic just bump this up 34, 35, whatever you think, 32, 31, whatever, um, and you just click on record. It's going to give you the 3, 2, 1, and then you start talking, um, but we don't need to do that. So. so it's that easy. You click on the microphone, you set your mic where you like it, and then you just hit record. Wait for the countdown, and then start talking. It's that easy. Okay? Now, guys, again, I want to give a shout-out to Evil Lazeman. Uh, check him out, Evil. You know you're my boy. Um, I appreciate everything you've done for me. Uh, guys, go ahead and check out Evil. Also, check out um, Black Ops ASCII. Uh, I'll leave the links to those two guys in the description. And again, a, a big shout out to Einstein Mods for um, uh, providing us with that controller from the last giveaway. Guys, I really appreciate it. Oh, and I almost forgot. 
Thank you so much for letting me break a thousand subscribers. And we're already up to a thousand fifty one or a thousand fifty two. Um, I'm looking at the um, maybe by Monday or Tuesday we hit eleven hundred already. Um, so guys, thank you so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. I can't ask for a much better group of people, a much better group of viewers. Guys, thanks so much, and uh, stay tuned for our next giveaway. Uh, stay tuned for our next uh, gameplays or next commentaries, and I'll be sponsoring a few people as well on my channel um, to where I'll be doing their gameplay and maybe doing a little commentary on top of that. Okay, so guys, I really, really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, and uh, take care.